My name is Steven. I'm the Behavior and Training Manager here at the Maryland SPCA and today we're going to be talking about dog behavior assessments. Uh, so dog behavior assessments are simply a snapshot in time when we evaluate a dog and get information on how they are on that day during that period of time. Um, behavior assessments are not utilized to make behavior case decisions. They're just simply giving us additional information so we have a bigger picture view on the animal's behavior. So um, for the behavior assessment that we use, we use uh, an assessment called SAFER. It was uh, designed by the ASPCA and it has consecutive items in order. Um, you start with look, that's item one. What we do initially is we bring them into an intake space, a big open room. Um, and we take our time, we would restrain them briefly where you look into the dog's eyes for three seconds. Um, that can be pretty stressful. Uh, sensitivity, which is where we hold the dog, and we pet them up and down two times. We have the third item, which is tag, where we get them to play running uh, back and forth and get them jazzed up, we get them to play. It's called tag, and we run up and down, and we sort of act silly, and we poop them in the butt. Um, for fearful dogs, they generally shut down. For dogs who get overly excited, they usually get jumpy and mouthy. Fourth item is squeeze, where we restrain, go down, squeeze their paw, and we do that twice. And then we evaluate for resource guarding using a food bowl. And then we move to toys, and then we move to rawhide. And those items are to evaluate resource guarding. And we would put those items down, and then we would let them engage with them. We would pull them away briefly, let them engage a second time, and then see what they do. Um, the last item, which we don't normally do in an indoor setting, is a dog-to-dog -dog evaluation. Um, and that's also part of the assessment, and that happens later. If during the behavior assessment we see signs of increasing stress that would indicate that the dog wants out, um, or could potentially bite, we would stop the BA at that time. The vast majority of dogs that we do behavior evaluations on um, pass and they get additional things that would put them into an adoption program and find a home. Um, even if they don't pass a behavior assessment, it doesn't mean that they won't get into a home, it just means that they may need more time, they may need to go to a foster home, maybe they're a better candidate to go to a rescue where they have more time to work on a particular issue, um, and that's sort of the, the gist of it. So if you like what you've learned today watching this video, please like and subscribe for more great content, and we'll see you later.